Hello, just a quick guide on Tekken 8's new heat system. You can activate heat by using a heat burst or a heat engager and you will be glowing in blue and the blue bar will gradually be consumed. When you are in heat state, it enhances your offensive capabilities. Your attacks will do cheap damage but will not reduce their health to zero. Commands that consume health will no longer damage you. Heat also allows you to access some unique moves, add an extension to a command, or simplify a certain move list. Heat is only available once per round and lasts 10 seconds. The heat timer stops if you damage your opponent or knock them to the ground. This also applies if you are in mid-air being juggled but not when grounded. Heat burst is the fastest way to get into heat state. You can access it by pressing 2 plus 3 or mapping it to a dedicated button. Heat engager. It's a command that puts you in heat state and automatically rush towards your opponent gaining some frame advantage. You can use heat engagers on juggles but it will not activate heat state. If you have recoverable health and successfully land a heat engager, you will gain a lot of health back. Heat dash. This is only available on heat state. Once used, it will consume all remaining heat gauge but it will allow you to extend your combo and you may consider this as an additional screw attack for more damage and wall carry. Hit Smash. This command is only available on hit state. It is like the rage drive mechanic from Tekken 7 and also drains all your remaining hit gauge. To use it, just press the hit burst command or button. Heat is not just a tool for aggression, but also a comeback mechanic as well. For me, I don't usually use heat on my juggles, since hitting an opponent mid-air or grounded ends up with recoverable health. Now, as mentioned before, heat gaugers recover a ton of health. But of course, you can always use your heat to extend a carry or to have enough damage for the kill. You can also use Heat Smash as your enter, especially if the heat bar is about to expire. When your opponent lands a Heat Burst or Heat Engager, instead of guessing their next move, use your own Heat Burst and now it's your free advantage. Another instance is using Heat Burst to break the momentum of your opponent, especially when you are being pressured up against the wall may be able to reverse the situation and go for a comeback. When your health is low and activated rage, then you successfully land a hit engager and recover health beyond the rage threshold then you will be still in rage. Obviously, the heat mechanic will evolve as we play the game and future patches. And if you have other heat related tips or if I miss something about the heat mechanic, let us know in the comments. I hope this helps and get ready for the next battle! Don't forget to subscribe!